Hello everyone, we're heading to Dark Visions to check out the final boss. Now I did do a quick run and learn that we have to kill by turn 4, otherwise it gets permanent mitigation, kind of like the last one, which is what I mainly wanted to check out, what turn that happened. Also learn that on the first turn, there's just one single, single target attack. Turn 2, we have AE Light Magic that we can seal. Turn 3 seems to be a Water Light combo attack. That's also AE. So the team that we got, we're going to go with a dark base team with a little bit of light added in. We have Sephiroth. Base, water and light resist. Do wield with the scarf so the auto hits four times. And bomb at synergies just so that we can summon right away. And then shift. I didn't really focus on any uh, resist. We just went straight for LB damage. So 300 Fairy, Reaper, and Limit there. Yuna. Water and Light resist in the base form. Gave her one extra bomb at Synergy just to make extra sure we can summon turn one. And then her shift has a decent amount of resist when we combo the Water and Light together. And she's set for LB damage. So 240 Esper, 160 Evo, 300 Limit. Kraya is our Evasion Provoker. 100% draw attacks, 100% evade. We did give her a Nethesite. And she's got a lot of water and light resist. And then her shift form, we set up just to add a little bit of damage with her limit. So she's got 100 Fairy Kill, 100 Limit Damage. I mean, she's here mostly for the breaks, but figured we'd try to have her add something. Tifa, base, Water and Light Resist. Do Wield. Now we're using the knife that makes her auto attack hit twice. That way we can have her auto attack chain with Sephiroth for the chain cap. And then just the Resist there. And then Shift, LB Focus. One fifty fairy, one seventy five reaper, three hundred limit damage, and no real resist there. Then we have bulwark, so resist in the base form, dragon's brush, call the wild, a bunch of LB fill. So nine fifty rate boost, max crystals per turn, and then shift. We're going to use a staff in peril, so to free up an action for them because we're limited to four turns. We're going to use a staff, so we don't have to do the instrument in peril. And then it's just Spirit and Killers for them. 150 Fairy, 225 Reaper. And they do have Resist. And then we have Carton, so base form is Resist. And then Shift. Frenzy Focus. We let him use Katanas just to max out both Killers. And then he's got the Promise and the Performer for Chain... Uh, the lower end chain boost. So Fairy and Reaper, 300 for him. And he's got a decent amount of uh, light resist in the shift form there. Alright, let's see uh, how everything works out. So once auto casting is done, we're going to have Yuna summon Anima right away. Gives us a dark field that should last like 10 turns. And now, so Sephiroth Tifa going to auto attack. Bulwark is going to mixtape and then do the bolting move that will add to his limit. Kralia. So we need to do the Bolting Strike that will give us a 50% water buff. And then the one that will give us a 50% light buff. And Kartan is just going to do Haunting Barrage. And this should get our Chain Cap. There we go. 100 Chain, so that's taken care of.
All right, now for our second turn here, we're gonna stack up our limits. So Sephiroth can shift. Tifa can shift. All right, Yuna is gonna do her base limit. Let's see, we wanna do that after we're hitting everybody. So let's have Karten shift and do his shifted limit first for the modifier. All right, now Yuna can do her limit in the base form. This gives us a 160 Reaper killer. is going to shift and do the shifted limit for the big stat buffs. Well, 350, but... And then Kralia is going to net the site because we don't have resist on Tifa and Sephiroth. So that way we don't have to worry about the light damage there. All right, so Sephiroth goes to the base. Tifa goes to the base. Carton's gonna go to the base. Let's see, so we are going to Somber Claw. We'll curse gift and just Magnus so we're not hitting too many times. All right, Bulwark. We're going to darken view the rest of the team. We're gonna do our Fury Killer. And we have to do his theme for his own modifier there. All right, for Yuna, we're gonna shift and do her buffs. So, Staff in Peril, Faith, and Believe. Let's see, make sure I do everything in the right order here. Yeah, so that's 20 to all. All right, so we're gonna soul surge first, for the LB fill for Bulwark, and then we'll Calamity to refill herself a little bit. And then, doesn't fully matter, we can do the light buff one again. And now that we have all the imperils and everything there, we just need the Magnus. Magnus there, and on Sephiroth. All right, we took a little bit of damage on unit, it looks like. Ah, uh, yeah, her resist was a little down. Yeah, because that's only 185 combined, not 200. All right, oh, that's an easy fix. My math was a little off. All right, 
so. Now, let's see how much damage we can do. So let's limit burst, shift and limit burst for Tifa. Bork. Triple bolting. Carton. Bit of frenzy. Yuna, limit burst, Kralia. Let's shift in LB there. Alright, so apparently Kralia takes a bit longer than I expected there. 4.6 isn't terrible, though, for like a first run where we made a couple of mistakes. So let's see. Yeah, Sephiroth obviously did the most. Yuna, Tifa, and Karten. But Yuna and Tifa pretty much tied. Tifa is definitely not maxed out completely. It's just she's a pain in the chain in between other stuff. But yeah, Kralia can definitely do more. I mean, all of her hits were pretty much after the chain. So we got to start her first is all. So yeah, damage received. That was what Yuna needs a little bit more resist than shift form. Can definitely fix that. Fix the chaining a little bit. Damage will go up a little bit. But overall, like I said, first run through, not a bad score. We'll have to take a look at what units I have and what other teams I can do. But for now, we're going to end this video here. Hope everybody enjoyed.